Hello friends, in the series of learning C++ programming language, in this session, I am going to explain arrays of objects concept. Already you are familiar with the arrays concept. Array is nothing but a group of similar kind of data elements. If you want to group together multiple integers, for example, let you want to store marks of five subjects of any student, then what you will do? You will create one array of type integer if we are considering marks are whole numbers. Then we will create array like int marks of 5. In this way, we can create array of integers to store marks of 5 subjects of any student. Let you want to store temperatures of number of cities, let 10 cities. Then there you can create array of floats like float temp of 10. It is this is just an array concept and these are just basic data types int and float. We can create array of integers, we can create array of float, we can create array of basic data types. In the same way we can create array of objects means array of the variables of type class. Getting object is nothing but a variable of a class or instance of a class. Here we are writing basic data types in the same way here we can write class name then that will be the concept of array of objects getting now here with the help of one example i am going to explain this concept let us see the example here i have created employee class and inside that two data members i have declared this name is a array of characters actually this is a member of a class i want to store name of a employee then here we have to create array of characters actually this is array of characters this is not linked with this array of object here just for storing name we have created this type of array now this name will hold name of employee and age variable age data member we have created of type float here you can store age means float data type age data member we have created now this employee is having name and age with it okay now here I am writing two member functions one get data and simple second one is put data we have just declared two member functions here and just we are going to define it outside the class. Now this get data member function is not returning anything here we are just accepting the data from user and that's why no need to return anything put data means we are just displaying no need to return anything that's why return type is void. The function names are get data and put data. No need to pass anything because using C in save statements, we are just accepting that from user. We are not just passing that name or age to the function, but we can pass. Here we have not passed. Getting now the first member function is get data. How to define member function outside the class? Already we have covered this point. Now here void is a return type class name, employee scope resolution operator, get data is a function name. And here just we want to accept name and age from user. That's why I see out enter name. This message will get displayed onto the output screen. And we are just accepting that using scene statement and we will store inside name. Name calling objects name getting in the same way we have to accept age in this way enter age message will get displayed because of this cf and c in age means we are just accepting from user and storing inside age of that calling object getting now in the same way put data member function we have returned to display name and age now in a main we will just create array of objects because here I want to just accept data about five employees and display data of five employees. That's why it is better to use array instead of just creating five different objects. Okay, that will be easy to handle. Now how to do that? Let us see. In a main, we will create array of that employee objects. Now how to create one object? Simple way, we will write like this employee then let e1 in this way we can create one object then e2 then e3 e4 e5 in this way we can create five objects and for all objects we have to call all the methods separately
separately. Means first we will call like E1 dot get data, E2 dot get data, E3 dot get data, E4 dot get data. If this is increasing, then it is very hard to handle. That's why if you know array of objects concept, then you can easily handle all objects of that class. Means for all objects, calling member function will be very easy if we are just creating array of objects. Instead of creating different objects, we will create an array of five objects. How simple way is there here? Normally we create array like data type, variable name means that is nothing but array name and inside square bracket we have to mention size. Okay, in the same way here we have to do, here we will create employee then array name is let e and here five employees i want to handle that's why i have created here array of five employees now all objects i want to call this get data and put data before that let us see how internal memory representation for this array we know that whenever we will create array then internally contiguous block of memory will be allocated for that array here again the same thing see every employee is having internally name which is having 30 bytes and for storing age it will take 4 bytes means 34 bytes will be allocated for one employee and this is array that's why 34 into 5 whatever value that number of bytes will be allocated that is a contiguous memory will be allocated for this array how see in this way here total 34 into 5 whatever the calculated value that much space will be allocated continuously for storing this array now from that first 34 bytes will be allocated for e of 0 see the array index starts with 0 and ends with size minus 1 that's why first element we can access using e of 0 in the same way the next one is e of 1 e of 2, e of 3 and e of 4. In this way the internal structure will be and e of 0 will take 34 bytes, first 34, then next 34 for e of 1, again the next 34 for e of 2 and so on up to e of 4. That's why the addresses are contiguous. Means e of 0 at 100th address, this is just an assumption. Then of course e of 1 will start at 134th address, then e of to from 168 and so on getting in this way the internal structure will be missed this first 30 bytes will be for name of a of 0 and the next four bytes will be for age of e of 0 in this way the internal memory allocation will be there for array of objects now here how to call these two member functions for all objects here simple whenever we are manipulating any array then normally we use for loop here again we will use that for loop how see here we will just declare one integer variable i for counter purpose because here see for this 0 1 2 3 4 we can use i index now that same thing i will use here like for i equal to 0 because it starts with 0 i less than 5 less than 5 means of course it will be up to 4 i plus plus what should be done this get data member function should be called for all objects now here one object you can refer like e of 0 the next one is e of 1 means e of i getting now here we can write like e of i dot get data now here automatically this get data function will be called five number of times for each and every object for all elements of that array. Now here we can display all the information at once with the help of for loop again and by calling this put data member function for all objects. How here see I am just giving message like see out employees info and we have to call that put data member function for all objects now for whole array for that we will place again for loop for i equal to 0 same i less than 5 i plus plus and just call like e of i dot put data 
in this way getting this is the way to call member functions for all array elements now here see we can display this name and age in a proper format means if you want that the uh, data should be displayed in tabular format that also you can achieve just display name and age in a uh, one line how simple instead of writing this we can write like this see out name and some space give some space like this and then display age getting and after that go to new line for that we will write end getting if we are writing in this way the put data function then you will get all data displayed in a tabular format okay otherwise normal display will be there if you are displaying in this way one by one on a separate lines this data will get displayed getting see here compulsory at the end you have to write the end then proper in output you will get now what is array of object array of object is nothing but group of objects that's it here we have to create array like class name then array name whatever you want to give and in square bracket we have to mention size and all individual objects will be stored continuously in a memory and all objects we can use here index for accessing objects like e of 0 will be the first object and so on here array index starts with 0 ends with size minus 1 the same rule is applicable and we can manipulate that array with the help of for loop it is better okay here we have covered this array of objects concept in the next session we will see object as a function argument getting till that take care bye bye thank you